So newly opened pet store in Fayetteville could soon have to stop selling puppies after opening its doors less than a month ago. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 10. I'm Darren Bob. Erica has the night off. 5 News reporter Micah Wilson's live in Fayetteville. Micah, this because of a Fayetteville City Ordinance that is supposed to take effect this week. Yeah, Darren, it's supposed to take effect this weekend, but the city attorney is suggesting that the city hold off because of a state law. To promote the adoption of puppies and kittens, the city of Fayetteville passed an ordinance in July banning the retail sale of them. We're concerned with a pet store being opened up in Fayetteville. Petland recently opened its doors off Joyce Boulevard in Fayetteville and is selling puppies. Which is their legal right to do so now. Uh, the ordinance will not be effective until this weekend. But Williams suggests postponing when the ordinance goes into effect. We discovered a new state law that was passed last year that is ambiguous but may, gives me a little concern. He's talking about the Working Animal Protection Act and it states an ordinance should not be enacted by a municipality that bans a quote animal enterprise in commerce. Williams says he's not sure if that includes pet stores, giving the city two options postpone the effective date of this while uh, I could negotiate with Petland a little bit about that. And the other thing that could happen is that Petland has threatened to sue us. Either could keep the ordinance from going into effect if Petland files a prelim injunction. In a statement to 5 News, they wrote in part, its focus will always be ensuring the health and safety of its animals, and it hopes to continue working with Fayetteville toward that end. While that happens, any comment on prospective litigation is premature. As city attorney, I want to do what uh, the city council wants to do and the mayor wants to do, but I also want to make sure that we follow state law. And as of right now, Williams says the decision of what to do is left up in the city council's hands. For now, we're live here in Fayetteville covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. Let's talk about the forecast. Another